Alright. Venice of a twelve eighty seven back again. Along with no one at the moment. Uh, we are starting off to kick Hi, off folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Skype Let's Saturday. Take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Normal game. And okay, we're gonna kick so this off with our fourth game one of one Jeopardy for the PS2. So far we won Thanks, Johnny. Put on your thinking caps now, folks, because it's time for another challenging game of Jeopardy. Let's get to the categories. All right. Business and industry. College football. Fiction. TV and film. For Columbus, the last category is Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Player one, let's get the ball rolling. TV and film two. It's the hip 1996 film that popularized lines like, Your money, baby. Anybody? What we were looking for was this. Swingers. TV and film four. The man seen here directed this 1941 cinematic masterpiece. Here's the clue. You're deeply shocked and deeply regretful about the results of... Anyone at all? What we were looking for was this. Citizen Kane. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's kick on with six. In 1998, this MASH star made a smashing return to Broadway in the hit play, Art. Who is Jamie Farr? No, that's not right. Sorry. This is the correct question. Alan Alda. TV and film A. This TV radio station featured Dr. Johnny Fever, Venus Flytrap, and Les Nessman on the air. What is WKRP? That's right. It was WKRP in Cincinnati. And so. Usum Kasana and Tamburlaine the Great was played on Broadway in 1956 by this future starship captain. Who is William Shatner? Precisely. Again. Fiction for two. This hero of the apes later hung out with ant men, lion men, and leopard men. Who is Tarzan? Who is Tarzan? That's it. 
Fix him for four. Like the hero, the author of the 1817 novel Rob Roy was of this nationality. What is Scottish? That's correct. No. Oh. Player two, what'll it be? Fiction for 600. In a Dumas novel, the man in this uncomfortable piece of apparel is Louis XIV's brother. What is the Iron Mask? Very good. Oh, yeah, the Iron Mask. Fiction for 800. In a Kipling story, this mongoose heroically battles a cobra. Regrettably, no. Take a look. Here's the right response. Ricky Tiki Tavi. Oh. Player two, you're still up. Fiction for a thousand. Goosebumps is a series of scary books by this author. Who is all else dying? You bet. Player one. Business and in business and industry two. This Michigan company formerly had a thirty-minute pizza delivery guarantee. Pizza. I would say, what is Pizza Hut? No, wait a minute, it's not Pizza Hut. Would it be Domino's? You bet. Domino's. Of course. 30 minutes or less. Oh, it's. Yeah, free. 400. Uh oh. Control of it. There we go. This company had its genesis when Paul Allen and Bill Gates read an article about the Altair 8800. Genesis. The only thing I could ever think of a Genesis is Sega. So I would say what is Sega? Regrettably, no. Well, that's worth a shot. What we were looking for was this. Oh, Microsoft. Oh, that's right. I mean, Bill Gates famous. Hey, you're still up, player one. Uh, six. The rhyming New England chain, Stop and Do This, is mentioned in the classic song, Roadrunner. What is Stop and Shop? Correct. Hmm. Player three, you choose. Teddy Roosevelt for 200. In 1898, Roosevelt resigned as Assistant Secretary of the Navy to help organize this cavalry unit. Anybody? What we were looking for was this. What fighters? Player three, you're still in control of the board. College football for 200. Term for a player who isn't recruited, but just ambles onto the field to try out. Oh. What we were looking for it's not was a this. Recruiter. It was a walk-on. It's like a play. Crap. Player three, you're still in control of the board. 
for Columbus for 200. Named for Columbus, one of these ice masses stretches for 40 miles near Valdez, Alaska. Well, it's glaciers. That's it. Over to you, player one. A, hey, please. Made for over a century by Hellerick and Bradsby Incorporated, it's the best known brand of baseball bat. What is the Louisville Slugger? Correct. Player two, you choose. College football for 400. Mississippi State is represented by this persistent creature named Bully. What's well, a ball? Bowling. I'm not thinking who has a ball. That is incorrect. This is what we wanted. Oh, a bulldog. Player two, you're still up. That makes sense. Teddy Roosevelt for 400. Roosevelt was famous for saying, speak softly, but carry this. What is a big stick? Precisely. Again. Teddy Roosevelt for 600. Roosevelt was only 42 when he succeeded this man as president in 1901. Shoot. I say James Buchanan. Here's what we were looking for. McKinley. Player two, you're still in control of the board. Let's try Teddy Roosevelt for 800. Roosevelt, who often participated in this sport, was virtually blinded in his left eye during a match. What is boxing? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, player three. I say he was blinded by four that Four Columbus eye. for 400. Chris was honored by this NASA program's first vehicle launched into orbit in 1981. What's the space shuttle? Player one. Finish a business in industry thousand. In the 90s, this clothing retailer introduced a crew cuts line for kids. I was a gap. But he didn't mention the numbers. Here's what we were looking for. J. Crew Group Incorporated. Uh, for Columbus 6. And, and that's the daily double. Daily double. Player one, please make your wager now. One hundred. Okay, here's the clue. City where the Ivy League school named for Columbus is located. Say for Columbus? I got only wager a hundred because I don't know. Uh, I would say what is... Also was Charleston. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Here's what we were looking for. New York City. For Columbus A. It's the capital of the South American country named for Columbus. Columbus. It's not Columbia. This is, is the correct question. Pagoda. Oh, Columbus Grand. James Thurber was born in Columbus, Ohio. Carson McCullers' birthplace is Columbus in this state. What is South... I would take a guess by the South Carolina. Good guess, but no. But that's not. What we were looking for was this. Columbus, Georgia. 
In 1912, as a candidate of this new party, Roosevelt lost his third bid for president. Here's what we want. Oh, I to put. No, I didn't even thought of the Progressive Party. College football six. The University of this state was the fitting 1999-2000 champion of the Big Sky Conference. What's it, Kansas? This is what we wanted. Montana. That's why the Big Sky State. A. The Outland Trophy goes to the nation's outstanding interior. One of these. No, not a decorator. What is Lineman? That's it. Lineman, that's right. And finishing off this round, an old oaken bucket goes to the winner of an annual football game between Purdue and this cross-state rival. What is Indiana University? <coughs> that's right. Okay, that's all for the Jeopardy round. Now we'll take a look at the scores. Still in the game, player one. And why well, there's always a double Jeopardy to bounce back up. Now it's time for the double Jeopardy round. And remember, dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on this board. And now, the categories for the double Jeopardy round. Stringed instruments. Spouse in common. Running on MT. Notice the quotation marks. Incredible edibles. The planets. And rounding out, we have... What am I afraid of? Oh, no. Player one, you get us going. Uh... Spouse in common fall. This superstar is the spouse in common to Sean Penn and Guy Ritchie. Who is Madonna? That's right. Player one, you're still in control of the spouse board. Spouse in common eight. Sonny Bono and Greg Allman were both married to this singer. Who is Cher? Precisely. Pick again. Spouse in common 12. Amy Irving and Kate Capshaw have both made trips down the aisle with this director. Who is Stephen? Oh, who is Steven Spielberg? Right, pick again. Sixteen. Mimi Rogers and Nicole Kidman were formerly married to this actor. Who is Tom Cruise? Correct. And then step for two. This actress, who's in a league of her own, has said I do to Jeff Goldblum and Rennie Harlan. Who is Gina Davis? Precisely. Like again. <coughs> when he knows. <coughs> Excuse me for that cough. Running on MT for four. 
He was always a team player. He's Petey the Fool who is Mr. T. Precisely. Running on and T for A. This ah! woman seen here said her objective was to destroy socialism. Here's your clue. Take a look. All attempts to destroy democracy. The Iron Lady. Get this 6900 out of the pit for me. I should for that. <laughs> Who is Margaret Thatcher? Precisely. Again. Running on MT12. In 1989, he was the WBC's, WBA's, and IBF's heavyweight boxing champ. Yes, MT. Who is Mike Tyson? That's it. Running on MT16. He's the author who had Tom Sawyer cruise on the Mississippi. Who is Mark Twain? Hey, you got it. Finish up for two, please. This 1995 money film starred Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. MT. Sorry. Didn't mean to hang in that time. What is money train? Exactly. Oh, MT. Player two? It's your the turn. movie, not the actor. Incredible edibles for 400. And my controller seems to go The out. green and the mute types of this amphibian are the ones the French prize for their legs. What is. What are frogs? Ew. Frogs hey, are cool. You're correct. But you don't want fog lights. Player one, it's your turn. Charlemagne was so fond of these proud birds that he served them at a banquet. What are peacocks? Proud hey, as a correct. peacock. All right, player three, what'll it be? How about incredible edibles for 1,200? If this U.S. marsupial is really dead, and not just playing, you can roast it like pork. Here's the clue. Oh, marsupial. Sound weasel. Take a look. Here's the right response. It's not a weasel. It is a... a uh, possum. It's a pot. It's a possum. Planet for four hundred. Its ring system is more than one hundred and seventy thousand miles in diameter, but only about a mile thick. Here's the clue. What is Saturn? Over to you, player one. Planet for eight. Its mass is more than twice the mass of all the other planets combined. Here's your clue. Take a look. Yes. It can only be Mercury or Mars. 
Fifty-fifty on this. What is Mars? No, and I am sorry. It's Mercury. What we were looking for was this. No, it's Jupiter. Yeah, it was the planet Klaus. One of this planet's moons is Phobos. Watch this. Sorry. What is Mars? Right, you are. Oh, Mars. Now what's the time for Mars? Where to? What'll it be? Stringed instruments for four hundred. I wonder if this could be a, a cross typical one. symphony orchestra has thirty-two of these instruments, but only one tuba. Vi well, uh, violins. Yes. Player one, your Planet turn. 16. Since its 1846 discovery, this planet has yet to complete one trip around the sun. Here's your clue. Take a look. Neptune? Correct. Pick again. Two grand. Due to the greenhouse effect, this planet's surface reaches almost 900 degrees. Okay, here's the clue. No. What is Venus? Yes! Oh, Venus. Player two, you choose. Oh, us. What am I afraid of for 400? <laughs> Good question. FDR could tell you phobophobia is fear of this itself. What is fear? That's it. Phobophobia is fear, right, player three, fear itself. What am I afraid of for 800? Well, it's got to be the daily Keep these animals away from me, senor, because I suffer from gathophobia. Well, our cats? Gato means cats. Right. <laughs> Don't want something that came one. up. Uh, 16 for incredible edibles. Eating seaweed helps certain swifts form these structures found in a famous Chinese soup. What are nests? Definitely. Yeah. 10 one Your to choice, 10 eight. To Stringed instruments it's gotta be for a close game. The best classical guitars are this type, named for a country, like the ones made by Alhambra. It's not a banjo. What is Moroccan? Good guess, but no. no. Here's what we were looking for. Spanish. Oh, a uh, humble Spanish. Incredible edibles for two grand. The eggs of this shelled reptile are sometimes hard boiled, and the flippers may be braised in wine sauce. Oscar is a lizard. This is what we wanted. It's a turtle. Oh. Player two, you're still up. Let's try stringed instruments for 1,200. The bull fiddle is also known as the double this. Take a look. Here's the right response. It was a bass. 
No, double bass. Sigh. What am I afraid of for 1200? Last one of the two. That's the second one around. Layer two, your wager, please. Okay, here's the... I'd hate to have philophobia because it's fear of this. What is eating? Good guess, but no. This is the correct question. It was the question. fear of loving. <laughs> oh, boy. Stringed instruments for 1600 it's stringed on its own, or followed by C chord. What is harp? Hey, you're correct. C chord, harp. All right, player three, what'll it be? What am I afraid of for 1,600? Good thing grandma's driving because I have tachophobia, which is fear of this. Nobody? What is going fast? Hey, you're correct. Yeah, going fast. What am I afraid of for 2000? It's no small matter that I have megalophobia. Fear of this. What is large objects? Or what is large things? Right. And now to complete this round, answer. That's the, the final daily double. And we got it this time. Player one, please make your wager now. One. Here's the point. Make its the name may come from the African mambanza, which is a similar instrument. Regrettably, no. What we were looking for was this. Oh, the yeah, I was thinking about that. Oh well. I got to see things. how the players are doing at the end of this double jeopardy round. <laughs> nice work, player one. You're in the lead right now. Thank you. Player two is not far off. Player three. Can only hope. Just gonna have to wait you all on final jeopardy. It's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll read the category, and then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. A few seconds? Vocabulary. Go ahead, make your wager. Here's the Final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. It can mean to transmit heat, electricity, or an orchestra's directions. So what is radio? Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player three, was... To lead? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Wow. Let's see what that'll cost you. You can't win them all, can you? Player two, what was your question? He guesses wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. He's got a lock. How much did it cost you? 4200 
Player one, your question was? Sorry, no. What did that cost you? Thousand. That's okay, we want... Sometimes you get a tough one. I just run a game like that. Sorry, the correct question. Conduct. Oh, this. conduct. Of course, conductor. Look at those scores. All of our players should be committed. Our winner, who played so very well, player one. 49,600 dollars. Conduct. Hey guys, it's ready to a thousand then. Eleven thousand to kick off Skype Saturday in in the one is going on sale. Hope you all had fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Alright. I'd like to thank you for watching Jeopardy. We got more games coming soon on Skype Saturday. So Get yourself another good snack and we'll see you right back.